Welcome to today's lecture on bronchiolitis obliterans. In this session, we will delve into the pathogenesis, clinical presentation, immune-mediated mechanisms, histopathology, treatment approaches, and various other aspects of this debilitating respiratory condition. Bronchiolitis obliterans is a complex disease characterized by the inflammation and scarring of small airways, resulting in obstructive airflow limitation. Understanding the intricacies of this condition is crucial for accurate diagnosis and appropriate management. Bronchiolitis obliterans, a disease that can be caused by various factors, involves damage to the airway epithelium, leading to inflammation, fiber proliferation, and airway remodeling. It presents with cough, wheezing, shortness of breath, and exercise intolerance. Diagnosis includes pulmonary function tests, imaging, and sometimes lung biopsy. In certain cases, bronchiolitis obliterans is caused by an immune reaction triggered by infections, medications, or prior transplantation. Immunosuppressive agents, such as corticosteroids and immunomodulatory drugs, are key in managing this condition. New therapies targeting specific immune pathways are also being explored. Histologically, bronchiolitis obliterans is characterized by fibrosis and obliterative changes in the small airways. On lung biopsy, a key finding is the presence of fibrotic tissue with concentric narrowing of bronchiolar lumens. Inflammatory infiltrates, primarily consisting of lymphocytes, can also be observed. These histopathological features aid in distinguishing bronchiolitis obliterans from other lung diseases and guide appropriate management decisions. The management of bronchiolitis obliterans aims at reducing symptoms, improving lung function, and preventing disease progression. Currently, the mainstay of treatment includes bronchodilators, inhaled corticosteroids, and pulmonary rehabilitation. In more severe cases, lung transplantation may be considered. Emerging therapies for bronchiolitis obliterans include antifibrotic agents, growth factors, and stem cell transplantation. These approaches hold promise in modulating the disease process and promoting lung regeneration, although further research is required to establish their efficacy and safety. Post-infectious bronchiolitis obliterans occurs as a result of respiratory tract infections such as respiratory syncytial virus, adenovirus, or mycoplasma pneumoniae. The pathogenesis involves an aberrant immune response to the infection, leading to chronic airway inflammation and subsequent fibrosis. Management of post-infectious bronchiolitis obliterans focuses on supportive measures, such as bronchodilators, chest physiotherapy, and vaccination against common respiratory pathogens. In severe cases, immunosuppressive therapy may be warranted. Bronchiolitis obliterans can result from exposure to various occupational and environmental toxins, such as chemicals, fumes, and dust particles. Industries like metalworking, agriculture, and mining pose a higher risk of developing this condition. Preventive measures, such as wearing appropriate personal protective equipment and implementing adequate ventilation systems, play a crucial role in reducing the incidence of occupational bronchiolitis obliterans. Recognizing occupational exposures and early intervention are key to preventing irreversible lung damage. Bronchiolitis obliterans remains a significant complication of lung transplantation. It is a major cause of morbidity and mortality in transplant recipients. The incidence of transplant-related bronchiolitis obliterans varies among transplant centers and is influenced by factors such as donor characteristics, surgical technique, rejection episodes, and post-transplant infections. Treatment of transplant-related bronchiolitis obliterans focuses on optimizing immunosuppression, treating rejection episodes promptly, and monitoring for infectious complications. In severe cases, re-transplantation may be the only cure. Although bronchiolitis obliterans is primarily non-familial, there are rare instances of familial cases, suggesting a genetic predisposition. Researchers are actively investigating potential genetic markers associated with susceptibility to bronchiolitis obliterans. Understanding the genetic factors involved may provide valuable insights into disease pathogenesis and pave the way for targeted gene therapy approaches. Imaging plays a crucial role in the evaluation of bronchiolitis obliterans. High-resolution computed tomography, HRCT, scans of the chest reveal characteristic findings such as mosaic attenuation, air trapping, and bronchial wall thickening. These features, along with clinical correlation, aid in differentiating bronchiolitis obliterans from other pulmonary conditions. Differential diagnosis includes conditions like asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, diffuse panbronchiolitis, and respiratory bronchiolitis-associated interstitial lung disease. Understanding the distinct imaging patterns and clinical presentations of these conditions is vital for accurate diagnosis and appropriate management. Pulmonary function tests, PFTs, play a crucial role in the evaluation and monitoring of bronchiolitis obliterans. 
spirometry demonstrates an obstructive pattern with decreased forced expiratory volume in 1 second, FEV1, and forced vital capacity, FVC. Diffusing capacity for carbon monoxide, DLCO, is also reduced in most cases. Serial PFTs help gauge disease progression, response to therapy, and potential need for lung transplantation. The prognosis of bronchiolitis obliterans varies depending on the underlying cause, severity, and comorbidities. In immune-mediated cases, earlier recognition and aggressive immunosuppressive therapy can improve outcomes. However, advanced stages of bronchiolitis obliterans often have a poor prognosis, with progressive lung function decline and decreased survival. Complications of bronchiolitis obliterans include respiratory failure, recurrent infections, and pulmonary hypertension. Multidisciplinary care involving pulmonologists, transplant specialists, and respiratory therapists is essential to optimize management and improve quality of life. Ongoing research efforts aim to unravel the intricate mechanisms of bronchiolitis obliterans and identify novel therapeutic targets. Clinical trials evaluating new treatment modalities, such as gene therapies, targeted immune interventions, and regenerative medicine approaches, are underway. The advancement in our understanding of bronchiolitis obliterans holds the potential for better patient outcomes in the future. Bronchiolitis obliterans is a complex respiratory condition with multiple causes, symptoms, and treatments. Staying informed about the latest research is crucial for providing optimal care to patients. Thank you for watching.